All right, this is Mike from MySolarHome.us and I'm here to present the 10 best solar generators for 2017-2018. Let's start with the best portable sized solar generators. The first generator on our list is the Paxis 100 watt. As you can see, this is a small, really good looking generator. Okay, so here's what you can do with the Paxis 100 watt. You can charge your phone or your GoPro. You can charge it about 20 times with the Paxis. If you have an 8 watt LED bulb, you could probably run it for 12 hours straight. You can charge an iPad three times or so. If you've got a small TV, like a 32 inch TV, you'll probably be able to run it for about an hour and a half. Same goes with a mini fridge, but you can't run anything larger than that. Not like a blender or a computer or a desktop computer, microwave, coffee blender, all those are out. Okay, the Paxis 100 watt is 3.5 pounds in weight. It's very light. It's pretty powerful. 150 watt hours uh, DC power. It's about 100 watts in terms of AC. It doesn't come with solar panels, you'll have to buy them separately. And it's got a great battery, which is plus with this 40.8 amp hour lithium battery. You can recharge it with uh, a direct through AC, through a cigarette lighter charger in your car or through solar panels. And it's got a good number of outputs, two USBs, three DC 12 volt outputs, and two plugs for, for AC too. So at 143 bucks for this on Amazon, with excellent reviews, this is a good generator to consider in the, port in the portable category. And the next generator on our list is the Goal Zero Yeti 150. This is also a very good looking generator. In my opinion, it looks a tad better than the Paxis. It's also slightly more powerful and a little heavier. The Yeti 150 is pretty much in the same power range as the Paxis 100 watt. It can do your GoPro or your iPhone for about 20 charges, run that small TV for about an hour and a half, and you can't do any of the bigger devices like a blender or a circular saw, stuff like that. So pretty much same league as Paxis 100 The Yeti 150 is slightly heavier than the Paxis, it's about 12 pounds. And that's because it's powered by an AGM battery. So it's a 14 amp hour AGM battery, which is something which is a little on the negative side as lithium ion batteries are significantly better than AGMs. But it's from Gold Zero, they're a good company. So this, the generator is pretty rugged. It's got a good set of outputs to USB, 112 volt and an AC. You can recharge it with a solar panel, from a cigarette lighted charger or you know, from, the, from an AC outlet. And of course, uh, like other solar generators which are in the portable category, it doesn't come with solar panels. If you buy it with solar panels, that's the price you get it on Amazon for 391 bucks. Otherwise, it's about 182 bucks on Amazon. The third and final portable generator on our list is the Suaoki 220 watt hour solar generator. And as you can see, again, very small, very sleek, and it's powerful too. Okay, so the Suaoki 220Wh is pretty much the same size as the Yeti 150 and the Paxis, but it's lighter as we'll see in the next slide, and it's got more power. So in terms of devices, you can do the same with the Suaoki as you can do with the Yeti 150. You can have your beach party, run a TV, but you can do it longer. So TV you can run for close to four hours. You can run your mini fridge also close to four hours, but you can't do any of the larger devices. Same problem that you have with the other two that we saw on the list. Here's where the Suaoki 220 watt hour scores over the Paxis and the Yeti 150. It's light, lighter than the Yeti 150 and almost as light as the Paxis at five and a half pounds. Comes with a super 20 amp hour lithium ion battery and its price is fabulous, 209 bucks, same range as the other two guys. A lot of outputs, two USBs, two DCs, and two AC outputs. Doesn't come with a panel, but that's the same thing with 
every quotable that we've seen on this list here at this price range. But given its small form, sleek looks, and much better power, this is the winner in the portable solar generator category. We're going to look at the mid-size portables, and we're going to look at four generators. And the first mid-size portable generator we're going to look at is the Gold Zero Yeti 400 Lithium. So the Gold Zero Yeti 400 Lithium is a mid-size portable generator. These guys have significant juice. For example, it can run a mini fridge for close to seven hours. Same thing with a 32 inch LED TV. It can even run some kitchen appliances like a blender for close to an hour, not that you need it for that long. It might even do a small desktop computer, but make sure it's below 400 watts in terms of uh, regular power output that it needs. And you definitely can't run a microwave or a power tool or a window AC with one of these. So the Gold Zero Yeti 400 Lithium, it's pretty light, 16 pounds. In its category, it's probably slightly heavier than its uh, comparable uh, competitors, but 16 pounds is pretty light. It's got 428 watt hours of power, very, very decent for, for this size of solar generator. It's priced at about 599 bucks, which is kind of a little pricey, but Gold Zero is a top brand and they do charge a little bit of a premium. Of course, it gives you a lot of outputs, three USB outputs, two uh, DC outputs, and two AC outputs too. You can charge it with uh, uh, solar panels, AC and DC. And if you want to buy this with uh, solar panels, which uh, Gold Zero provides, you can buy that kit for 825 bucks. And our next mid-size solar generator is the Suwauki 400 watt hour solar generator. And as you can see, this is a good looking solar generator. It has a nice big display right in front. So the Suwauki 400 watt port mid-size portable generator is pretty much in the same league as the Gold Zero Yeti 400 lithium we looked at previously. It can charge your um, laptop. It can do it for about eight times. It can run a mini fridge for about seven hours. It can do a blender for about an hour. You can't do post tools. It can't do TV, etc. Right, the Suwaki 400 watt hour mid-size portable generator is extremely well reviewed on Amazon with about 167 reviews. Its price is fabulous. So in this uh, mid-size portable range, this is the cheapest unit. And that's not saying this guy is not capable. It's right up there. It's got 444 watt hours of power. Its battery is lithium hour. It's, it's, and that's pretty top end. And it's got a multitude of outputs, three USB, two DCs, and two, two AC outputs. So this is a pretty good solar generator, well worth your attention. It didn't make it to the winner in this category by a whisker. And the next generator we're looking at in the mid-size portable solar generator range is the Kalisaya KP601. This is the most powerful generator in the mid-size category. So the Kalisaya KP601 is the most powerful in its category in the mid-size portable solar generator category. 550 watt hours means this solar generator can power even a desktop computer and a monitor and it can run it for close to an hour or so. You can run your mini fridges or your TVs for close to 10 hours using this solar generator. So this is one powerful package in the mid-size portable solar generator range. So the Kalisaya KP601 is a very powerful generator in its league. Like I said, this is the most powerful in the mid-size range, 550 watt hours of output. Two other great things about this solar generator are that it comes with the solar panels inbuilt. It's got folding solar panels, 40 watt panels. So recharging is great. You can take it straight out of the box on your camping trip. And its price is very reasonable to 599 bucks for the generator plus the folding uh, solar panels. This is a definite good buy. The fourth and final Mid-size portable generator in our list is the Anchor Powerhouse 400. And as you can see, this generator is very small. It looks like a small portable generator, not like the powerful mid-size portable generator that this one is. Tiny Anchor Powerhouse 400 is equally powerful compared to its mid-sized 
portable solar generator colleagues. It can do your TV, it can do your mini fridge, it can do a blender. You could even track a small computer, a desktop computer and monitor for an hour or so. So the Anchor Powerhouse 400, the tiniest mid-sized portable solar generator you can possibly see, also has got a tiny weight, just 9.26 pounds. It's packed with power 434 watt hours and it's got a very high density lithium ion battery 120 amp power. That's what gives it power and it's light because it's new generation. And it's got a lot of outputs, four USB outputs for all your smartphones, GoPros, etc. DC output as well as an AC output. Given the small size, great power, it's easy to declare the Anchor Powerhouse 400 the winner in the mid-size solar generator category. And to round off our list of 10 based solar generators, we have the three heavy duty solar generators here for review. So the first heavy duty solar generator in our list of top three is the Wegan EQ1500. As you can see, it comes with inbuilt solar panels and it's got a rather nifty look. So the Wegan EQ1500 is a big boy, a heavy duty solar generator. It can do everything you see in this graphic, including the window AC. Because with the big batteries that it comes with, it's got surge capacities of about 3,600 watts, more than enough to get an AC started off. You can do your circular saws, your tools, you can take it along with you on your truck and do all kinds of work for hours on end. It's a big guy. The Wigan EQ1500 is powered by an AGM battery. Now that's a 100 amp hour AGM battery, it's a lot of power, but like AGM batteries, it's heavy and the number of cycles they give you is a little less, so the lifetime of this generator is limited by that battery. But of course, you can replace it easily because it's off the shelf available anywhere. It's got its own inbuilt panels, which is a good plus, and they slide out and make the unit look really space age. It's got a reasonable number of outputs for its size, two USB, two DC and two AC. And its price is something that makes it attractive in this category at 1079. It's one of the less expensive heavy duty solar generators going around. So definitely worth a look. And the next heavy duty solar generator on our list is the Goal Zero Yeti 3000 Lithium. This is a relatively new product from Goal Zero and it looks to be terrific. So the Goal Zero Yeti 3000 Lithium is the most powerful lithium battery heavy duty solar generator in the market today, which makes it a good prospect to look at. AGM battery based generators are equally powerful, but AGM batteries don't have the life cycles of a lithium battery. The Gold Zero Yeti 3000 is gonna last a long time, so that makes it very attractive. And since it can run pretty much everything you see here, including the AC, your power tools, kitchen utensils, TVs, etc., it is definitely a great solar generator to look at. So the Gold Zero Yeti 3000 Lithium has got a lot of things going for it. Great power, great looks, new technology, lithium batteries, and 281 amp hours surge capacity of 3000 watts so you can even run an AC. It's heavy, 68 pounds, but not too bad in the heavy duty range. The only two negatives that I can see for this generator are its price. 3000 bucks makes it a pretty pricey generator. And the other thing is you're not able to daisy chain the Gold Zero Yeti 3000. That means you can't buy two of them or three of them and then use them as one large generator. But overall, this is a really good heavy duty solar generator, well worth your attention. And the final heavy duty solar generator on our top 10 list is the iNERGY Kodiak 1100. And as you can see that little thing here, it is a very small heavy duty solar generator. So the iNERGY Kodiak 1100 is the lightest and the smallest in our list of heavy-duty solar generators. The Wegan 1500 
and the 03000 lithium, much, much heavier than this guy. This guy's just 20 pounds, amazing weight. So that gives it a big edge in the heavy duty solar generator range. It's got a negative that its power is a little less than its cousins. As you can see, you can't run a window AC with this unit, but you can daisy chain this unit. So if you have more than one, you can run that AC. You can run your power tools too. Even with a single generator, power tools are possible. Just make sure they're less than 1100 watts in terms of needed watts. So the iNRG Kodiak 1100 has got a lot of things going for it. It's light 20 pounds. That's incredible. Puts it in the league of portable solar generators. And it's this is a true heavy duty solar generator generating 1100 watts of power. It's powered by a 90 amp hour lithium battery and this one's latest generation battery is used by iNRG. That's why the unit is so light. It's got a plethora of outputs, six USB, two, two DC, six AC outputs, and it's even got an RV output. Really good for RV owners. So overall, when you look at this guy, even though it is slightly less power than its contemporaries, because you can daisy chain it or add batteries to it, as well as the fantastic price tag of $1749 for a super heavy duty solar generator, it's easy to see the iNERGY Kodiak 1100 is the winner in our list of the best heavy duty solar generators. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed seeing the top 10 solar generators available in the United States market today, including the portables, mid-sized and the heavy duty ones. Come back to www.mysolarhome.us for more information on solar generators, solar panel kits, gadgets and technology. All the solar generators you've seen on this list are the links to reviews, the links to prices are below this video as well as in the articles around it. Thank you. Have a nice day.